Go. Hey everybody! Welcome back to Ultimate Chicken Noise. Hey! hey. How's it going? Hey Hi. Oh, hello! Do oh. you go back and tally how many highs, hellos, and hey there is? Oh, oh, hello! And see which one wins. Thank I think it's hot. You. Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah. One, Boom. two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre are at the door. Did you make that up? Yeah, did you do that? That's really That's, good. I, I really like new freestyle rap meme. Because <laughs> you don't need to do anything. Well, it's, yeah. it's free consciousness flow, right? Or, yeah. Stream of consciousness. Stream, I love it when you call me Big rap. Papa. Throw your hands in the air if you're a true hey. player. Whoa, did you make that up? Yeah, I did. My, 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 Why my music have a name? hits me so hard. <laughs> makes me say, oh my, oh my god. Nick doesn't have a name. Doesn't say, oh my god. It says, oh my god. Yeah, this I'm a horse. That's why say, I have no name. Oh my lord. Thank you for blessing me with the rhymes that sign and the something she. Oh, Murph. Double bit. <laughs> something she. Oh, two, two tile wide, oh, Murph. Two tile wide, Murph. Okay. Two tile wide. Yeah. Ooh, Onto a flower. No. Ooh, three, maybe three. Three is three good. Three, three, three tile wide. Be Murph. gentle. Three tile wide. Onto a. Rob, go more right. Oh. <laughs> Yep, Practice. easy, easy, right. easy, easy. Easy, I know what I'm doing. easy. Nick, no. Oh, heading up punch. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I, was, I, I, like I, I like it. Big up, big up. It's a stick up, stick up. And hey, I'm you shooting. You guys want to talk about Men in Black? Yeah, sure. Nah. Probably Barry Sonnenfeld's best film. I would say you are correct. The intro is so good. You're talking about the where he's chasing the alien dun 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 oh, dun, I see. oh yeah with the with the fly or the mosquito going through like, are, are we in a cornfield what's up with this tim burton typeface yeah yeah what's going down yeah i don't even know what this movie's about there, so Baron, about men in black barry sonnenfeld also did like what like one of the shitty batman movies and did he i think so yeah i think he did Which one of the one? shitty ones I'm I don't amazed know. by your like ensample, encyclopedic knowledge of directors and actors. Well, I'll tell you I what, I, I could be talking about ass on that one, but yeah, the, uh, it's Joel Schumacher did the, the well, bad Batman. Well, oh. yeah, but there was uh, there was another <laughs> director though on because there was Tim Burton, Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher, and then I think there was another one who did Batman and Robin. I think that's still Joel Schumacher. It might be. Okay, random question, but Shuma, Kuma, Eli, no. <laughs> are we positive or negative on Batman Forever? Uh, highly negative. negative. Yeah, like highly negative. Yeah, maybe one of the worst films ever made. Is that the <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. Batman and Robin is really, really. Bad. I I yeah. had to believe Batman and Robin was worse than worse than Forever. Ah, uh, I would say that is the worst movie ever made. But Batman Forever is just like just <laughs> movie above it. in general. Yeah, no, of all time. It's doable. It's, it's not, not doable. This, this is not doable at all. I can't go any higher than this. Yeah, that's that's it. Go that's under the Murphy. It's the only way. But I mean, it's prove it's doable like from that place. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, you guys don't think Batman Forever is one of the worst movies ever made? I think no. Batman is like bad. Well, what? I saw it when I was a kid, so granted, nostalgia goggles, but I thought it was pretty silly while also being Batman. Also, you got this cool man who wants to be cool, and he's in a fucking bat suit, and it looks so dumb. Okay, Woo! now there you're taking some... issues with no. the wrong parts. There, there are, are some parts. points where I think that, like, Austin's right. Like, remember I watched, like, Superman, and he puts on the Superman suit, and he's wearing a cape and everything? I'm like, why don't you just not... <laughs> Why don't you just fly around in like some normal clothes? Well, that's oh, the like, outfit he came in in. That's his. That's his baby outfit. Fuck. Yeah. So what? You don't dress yeah. like you did when you were a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, that's, just, that's, that's the logic. Just, clearly. I'm saying Marvel. They they won the superheroes are cool battle. I think pretty hard. I, I am. I will not disagree with you there. But I will say that Batman is the best superhero, hands down, no doubt. Audi 5000. Really good map so far, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, we've, we've all won several times. Yeah, I'm like, pretty sure I didn't put any dynamite or bombs in this either, so. Oh, good. Oh, we doubled I mean, the I'll flower, give you though. that Batman's one of the better, like, at least he's not Superman kind of thing, but, like, yeah. I can't I can't get down with Batman. Anymore. Superman's got to be one of the worst. I, how can you not get down with Batman, though? I just, like, Dark Knight, <laughs> amazing movie. Yeah. But that's because of the Joker. No. Well, come. I mean, maybe the not Joker because of Christian Bale. The Joker and the Batman Bale. are intertwined. No. Exactly. Yes. 
The the Joker wouldn't be an interesting villain if it weren't for Batman. And the Dark Knight would be a true. good movie this, if it no, weren't it's, for Heath Ledger. It's 100% true. It's the same reason that Moriarty's not a good villain without Sherlock Holmes. I mean, I think they could be a good villain without the other. Like, what if, what if the Joker was fighting like Captain America? That'd still be pretty sick. Not really. No, it, it would be flat because the whole thing is based on their, their intellectual interplay. I also this sort of respect from one to the other, right? Oh, you're yeah. saying the Joker wouldn't respect Captain America? I mean, no, I'll, because I'll, he wouldn't be on his level. I'll, I'll tell you what, Captain like, America's not on the Batman's level, or on, no, Batman's on Joker's above level. Captain Joker's America. Ryan, smarter than Captain America. Think about what you're doing. Ryan, what are you doing? Think about what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I just we needed to stop. That. Okay, Rob, do you agree or disagree? Uh, I, you know what, I will say is out of all the heroes you could have picked to hypothetically go up against the Joker, I actually do think Captain America would be a good shot because really, but, but well, here's why. The the thing that defines Batman really is his. Okay, I could actually go on really long with this, by the way, and I'll try to keep it Got concise. Here. Twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but like the thing that defines Batman besides his extreme intellect Holy and you know super badass gadgets and stuff. Extreme intellect. He does have extreme intellect. He's the world's greatest detective. <laughs> He's basically Sherlock Holmes, but he punches people in a bat suit. Anyway, uh, is that he has a very strict code of morals and ethics. That's you know. the problem that I have a problem with this. Cause Why? Because he's like, oh, Batman don't kill people. He just maims the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> Possibly hey, killed. That's, uh, the, you know, you didn't let me say the next part. I was going to say, admittedly, it's his truth, his ethics. It's not necessarily universal. And that's part of, like, good Batman writers will write that story where it's like, okay, you have this really st strong moral code, but are you right? Are you saying you're absolutely right 100% of the time? This is too hard of a level, guys. This is the yeah, worst this level is really we've bad, ever yeah. created. No, this, this is, is really real bad. bad, yeah. No, the wood level from two episodes ago was pretty bad. That, <laughs> that was bad, too, yeah. Flat character attributes of them. Batman is is the most ordered, and Joker is the most anarchic. What, yes. What's the word there? Anarchic. He's the anarchic. Ant version. Antarctic. Yes. Antarctic, yeah. So the two of them, since they both have a a passing respect for each other, even if they're enemies, ultimately. Uh, they're both toying with the idea that they're not right, which creates an interesting yes. dynamic. Yeah, yes. but like, actually, in all the Batman movies by Christopher Nolan, except Batman Begins, Batman is the least interesting part. I, I oh, mean, okay, I'll, here we go. Let's go, guys. I'll give you that. <laughs> that might be true, actually. Uh, but that's, it's like not, that's, uh, it's. I gotta think about it. It's for not a the fault of the too. character. The Joker is that like, I tried to watch a lot of like the Batman cartoons and stuff uh, on like, Cartoon Network and like uh, just some general Batman stuff, and the Joker was always like, like a joke. Like he was. Well, lame. They, they've never played him properly in cartoons. Mm, no. Properly. What are you guys talking? You guys are out of your fucking mind, Mark Hamill. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm about the Saturday morning cartoons, the little kid shows. Yeah, Batman the animated series. Mark Hamill was the Joker in that. I he... thought they played him off as like a lunatic that was just silly. No, not at all. The the Joker. Oh, I guess was I like... don't remember that then. Sorry. Right. Great, great level, guys. Great, great level. level. Yeah, no, this, great is good, level. this is a good one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is a good. I stuff. think there's a way around it. Actually, I think I have it. I, I mean, don't know the yo, Mark. I, I mean, fucking, uh, what's his face? Mark, Heath Ledger Mark is Zuckerberg. a great. Oh. Heath Ledger is a great Joker. Oh, Mark oh, Hamill geez. is the Joker. Oh come on. Oh wait. Oh goddamn. All right. I good game. Good game. I can't good choose game. a level. <laughs> oh, it's just me and Nick voting. Yeah. Uh, where have we not played in a while? Um, uh, we played. You know, do pyramid, pier. We haven't done iceberg in a while, probably. We farm in a while. We did farm today. Didn't we do farm? <laughs> yeah, we did farm like literally today, though. No, we didn't. Well, I mean, <laughs> on on the awesome. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, metal planet is. Oh no! Fuck metal planet iceberg. No, no. Oh, you have to wait a long time. All right. That's because these jokers over here don't want to vote. Don't call me a joker. <laughs> Call me a Batman. <laughs> These Batman don't want to vote. Batman is a great character, and you all are crazy. I mean, I'm not, like, anti-Batman, necessarily. I don't think he's, like, bad. I just think he's just kind of boring and uninteresting. He's a lot more interesting than Oh. Here. Yeah. You guys we're need to watch... Anywhere? Oh, we're going here. Okay, cool. Um, He is not boring. You're crazy. 
You're just incorrect. You agree to disagree, I guess. It's a matter of opinion for the most part. It is. I just don't understand why all superheroes have to look stupid. Can we just jump in the water? Okay. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, what if you just had like a superhero, and he's just like not wearing a unitard? What's the best looking superhero outfit and the worst, in your opinion? Um, I mean, like at least Iron Man's makes sense. I was like, gonna go yeah. straight for Iron Man for my best. Like he he is wearing the suit that he needs to and then, like fulfill his powers. What's who's the new guy from uh, Age of Ultron? The like the thought guy. Oh, like, spear or Vision? Vision. Yeah. Vision. That's dumb. That's dumb. Yeah. yeah. Well, he looks stupider in the comics he... if you'll believe that. I always thought he was cool as hell when I was a kid, okay. and then when I saw him in the movie, I was like, nope, he's real stupid. How did they? <laughs> How did they do that? Yeah. I mean, you know. But I guess I also thought Silver Surfer looked kind of cool when I was a kid. Thor is kind of cool looking, but he's got a bunch of balls on his chest like he's a Dalek. Like, he doesn't in the in the movies, but like... Thor's makes sense, but I don't like it. Yeah. I think Iron Man's got the perfect mix of, like, functional and also it makes sense. And like it's the fucking Mortar chest... Strike! Makes sense too. <laughs> Actually, it's more toll strike. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Or, it or damage unless it's below. I'm trying to think. Like, like I would say Wolverine, but his actual outfit is maybe one of the stupidest. Yeah. No. But like, Remember like he had those little arcs on his comics. shoulders in the old Marvel uh, in the old X Men. Uh, yeah. Right. No, he's in the, the yellow, arcs. the yellow like fucking V hat thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. I had a mask of that for Halloween one year. Yeah, me too. Ooh. There's pictures of me as a as a Wolverine, as a with the Wolverine. claw. <laughs> as a whoa. Yeah, we, well, that's we couldn't afford crazy. the actual Wolverine costume, so my mom just dressed me up as a Wolverine, just glued a bunch of fur to me. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Let you loose in the closest mall. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Give me candy. <laughs> yeah, me money. You sound yeah. like Batman yeah. there. Yeah, there you go. See, but that's what I mean. Is that like people like. That's the thing, is that, like, I think Chris Nolan's Batman movies are the best Batman movies by far, but they're the worst Batman. In a way. And it's not oh. even Christian Bale's oh. fault. <laughs> oh. Is it because he talks in that level. initially deep voice? Yeah. Yes. That's exactly That's, why. like, the largest contributing factor. You know what or sucks like about that? Dark night, where Morgan Freeman's, like... I've had enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving. And then Batman's <laughs> like, what if I just, like, had you work here for, like, another ten minutes, and you spied on absolutely everybody's personal electronics to help me find the Joker? And despite yeah. it completely being against Morgan Freeman's ethics, he's like, all right. <laughs> You've made a very compelling argument. Just this once, Batman. Batman <laughs> is a trap. Well, but see... That's sort of what makes Batman an interesting character because, you know, you think he's doing good, but he's also kind of like a dirty fascist but as well. In that particular instance, there was no compelling argument presented and he just bowed, like just gave it to him. Well, yeah, Lucius Fox didn't really have a great... Lucius! <laughs> but, like, but, I mean, in general, that's the best, those are the best Batman stories when Batman has to kind of think about, like, oh do the ends justify the means? Well, I mean, what when there's, like, a nuke hang. he's got to fly out of New York City, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't stop what him. Does he Sorry. Do it? <laughs> it's actually not that hard if you're not going for coins. I don't know. I think, like, superhero movies are all still, like, kind of cartoonishly written, too. Like, but they're, they're like, good really... now. Like, I'd, I'd say, like, Batman or Dark Knight's probably the most, like realistic, non-cartoonishly written one. Yeah, I uh, yeah, motherfucker, you. Oh no, this is bad. I'm dead. Good deck oh coin. my god, I hate it. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait. No, I'm no, so no, mad. No, I put that coin there for myself, okay, and then okay, I okay. died in the stupidest oh. way possible. But to argue that they're cartoonishly written is to just sort of, like, pretend the source material doesn't exist, because that's the universe they want to be in. Yeah! <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> If the goal is to transform Spider-Man into, like, an urban, edgy dude that is real, like, yeah. no, they're not doing that at all. And you get amazing right, well, like, like Spider-Man is DC. Yeah, right, exactly. You see the trailer for the new Spider-Man, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah! 
Oh, good. they're rebooting it again? Yeah. yeah it's but it's Marvel style, doing though. it this time instead yeah. of Sony, so. Is there a, a dog, dog barking in a hallway? It's like a dog. An extremely ornery dog. <laughs> hallway dog. <laughs> the dog barks oh, very loudly. Bork, Give me bork, money. Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> bork, bork, bork dog, yeah. Do you know the Give Me Money story, Ryan? Yeah, yeah you told me the yeah, Give okay, Me Money yeah. story. Yeah, Many never times. Gets old. Good lady. Good old Give Me Money lady. And that she's not a good lady, probably. I didn't say the story on the LSS, but I was at Starbucks today. It was yeah. just me and a homeless dude in line. Yeah. He, he was behind me. He just waited until the barista like turned her back. He grabbed a bunch of change out of their tip jar and ran out <laughs> of the store. <laughs> Fucked up. That's hilarious. Good for oh, that guy. Too. Stick it to the oh, man. This, he didn't put yeah. it far. We all wanted to go and there's not even a reason. That you could bounce bad. off the thing and land on the boat. I so good. fucking am an idiot. <laughs> ah! Da -da 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 -da. That's like gettable, right? Like, yeah. just, I, I hate that you have to wait. I don't want to like, drag out the fucking... Level yeah, I mean, seven. we're already 15 minutes and 40 seconds into the episode. Like, That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't want to artificially inflate the length. Uh, that was, was artificially the inseminate the length. Oh, I don't want to artificially inseminate anybody's length. Inseminate? Inseminate. 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 Man, we went really deep on that joke, like, real quick. <laughs> like, that went through, like, that four different... That itself like a freaking game of life. Yeah, right? it was amazing, honestly. Oh, boy. Oh, what? Boy. Where did that thing come from uh i don't want to make it seem like i'm anti-superhero movie it's like i i think i like the dark knight rises more than most people and i go see all the new marvel films because i am i really that interested in this and then they get like 90 on rotten tomatoes and i'm like yeah i'll go check it out that seems good enough for me and then um but i there are some times where like my suspension of disbelief wears off and i'm like why is this man wearing a weird suit like <laughs> iron man i get iron man's yeah. power is like his suit Oh, wow. Well, but Captain America also makes sense. Uh, does it? Oh, God. Yeah, it does, because, like, he's, because he <laughs> used to be, like, a propaganda figure, right? Yeah. You know, during World War II. And then now it's sort of a, you know, people look to Captain America for guidance and stuff, and he has to kind of retain his brand image, basically, because people in that Marvel Universe grew up you know, learning huh. about Captain America in World War Two and stuff. You know, all right. That's so this is pretty branding. valid argument, I guess. Yeah. I said it mostly out of ignorance. I really don't like that character very much, so I don't know much What's about. What's your it. problem with Captain Marvel's Captain America? It's just like, you know, the whole blind patriotism thing just like doesn't sit well. What are you talking? Civil War. He goes against the wishes of the world's governments. That's true. That's, and he does. That's he the does it, it's a lot again, better. Know. It's a lot better in the comics too. I will say that because you, know, you guys he... are high as hell. <laughs> Civil War is the best Marvel film. Talk no, the... I'm not saying it's can, not. Can we can we do spoilers on Civil War? Because like the villain's plan is the dumbest thing that ever works what in the, the history. What the villain has a great plan because it's not just blowing up Civil city blocks. No, great. no, the, his his idea is good. The plan is the oh. dumbest thing in the history of time. Yeah. It's so convoluted and like it should not have worked but did for no reason other than the writing. I will say that again, in the comics, it's a much different scenario than I the feel London. in the underlying theme of the writing of these movies in Civil War especially, it's not about telling a story so much as introducing reasons for new wrestlers to enter the ring. Yo, Civil War is actually good though. The movie is great, but the plot is like average, if not slightly below average. There's icebergs. <laughs> There's icebergs in that? I don't remember the icebergs in it. Well, they they do go to Antarctica for a while. Rob, Rob, don't win. We need to artificially inflate the length of the video, oh, man. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I totally forgot. Well, but uh, no, that's the that's only the first one, right? That's the second, no, that's the second one, second dude. One. Was that the second one? Yeah, oh, remember? fuck. The video's ending. Now I'm gonna get shit on so hard because I have no time to explain myself. Alright, fuck it. Enjoy. <laughs> Yo, crank it back up to 20 turns, man. Yeah, actually, though. Oh, I don't get to vote this time, guys. Oh, yeah, get fucked. Yeah, but oh. you wouldn't say turn it up to the 20 turns based on that first one we did. The first one we did was like 10 seconds long. The yeah, he's right. Well, I think, yeah. I think we should just do a farm. Just do a farm? Farm is the <laughs> longest one! What? It is? Yeah! It is? Alright, fine, farm. 
All right, longest farm. Here we go. It's too short farm. The longest farm. You guys like the too longest yard? Farm. You guys watch that movie? No, I haven't seen it. I don't really like it either. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we can all agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's got some like like okay. if, you, if you watch Wait. it today, it's got some like really sort of insensitive and politically incorrect jokes in it. I mean, that's oh, fair. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but like you, know, you remember what I'm talking about? No, I'm just doing Adam Sandler's voices. Oh, I feel okay. like I feel like hey, we haven't asked this question. Maybe we have, and I'm just like I don't remember. But it's a very obvious question. But like, uh, favorite movie of all time? I can't say that honestly. Captain America: yeah, Civil War. War. It's not Ryan. It's not. I I don't or I, I don't I can't like I've I can't possibly actually choose a favorite. I mean that's fair. No, but, like, you can't possibly it. travel faster than the speed of light. Well, <laughs> you just won't choose a favorite movie. I mean, just pick like a just pick one of them. A movie I could watch. I, I'll tell you, a movie that I could watch over and over again and never get tired of is probably Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. That's the only one I can feel like sort of okay saying it's my favorite. Yeah. Who put that hay on the t tractor? It's not where that goes. <laughs> I do hate committing to that, though, because there's so many different reasons to want to watch a movie that just picking one just seems disingenuous. Exactly. It's like the whitest sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't possibly choose a favorite movie. I completely <laughs> lacked self-awareness until you said that. It's too hard to choose a favorite movie. <laughs> just choose a movie! Like, who cares? <laughs> I, I mean, it would, it, it would have been wider if he also said, I like cheese and mayonnaise as well. Oh, it, fuck. It's got way harder. Yeah, that's like immediately a lot harder. Is someone else still? Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I really, really, really enjoyed District 9. I really thought you were going to say cheese and mayonnaise. <laughs> cheese and mayonnaise. <laughs> no, District 9 is like is? an amazing yeah. movie. District 9 is real good. It is good, but then Neil Blomkamp didn't really like do anything after that. I can't No, they, but they... that... <laughs> what does that matter, though? Because, like, I, I want to know what he does. That is, I agree. No, I do agree. I want to see the part two to this. I think it's actually a good sequel or potentially District 69. Good. Yeah, right. exactly. They, I mean, I, I, I don't even necessarily up news on it. Like every every year, I'll be like, "Are they gonna do this yet?" And they're like, "Oh, well, Neil Blom 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 Blomkin Blomkin uh, Blomkin yeah, Neil Blomkin uh, Alien Neil now, Blomkin. so he'll do it after he makes Alien. Oh, he's gonna make this movie too. He's gonna make Elysium. He'll do it after he makes yeah. Elysium. Oh, look, he's making Alien again. He's gonna do that. Yeah, like that that director is attached to the most fucking projects out of any goddamn director on planet Earth. Neil Blomkin. Yeah, he just needs to make another movie. Is I he mean, the one that made uh, Chappie? Yes. He yeah, is. he did. Yeah. I would good. really like the new Alien to be good, but I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I excited for this? Prometheus was like bad. Yeah. Like I really. Well, you know, a lot of people actually like that movie. It's it's almost it's becoming contentious to say that it's bad, but you know, th there's two camps. I'm definitely in the. I think this. You're is in real the Blom bad. camp. I'm in the. Uh, camp. I don't think it's real bad. I think it's okay. I think it's real bad. I think it's but funny. then I'm like, yeah, but the new one's directed by Neil Blomkamp, who did District 9, and oh, wait, like nothing else that I actually enjoyed <laughs> that point onwards. Elysium was apparently like, it wasn't no, bad. No, Elysium sucks. I, Elysium is really bad. But why do you guys call it Elysium? You're freaking me it's the Elysium, fuck. Elysium? Elysium? Yeah, what? it's Elysium. Oh, Elysium. There's it's no Z Elysium. in it. Like, like it's starring a person named Alista. <laughs> but it is. I look like I'd like to see a rival, dude. Yeah, I do want to see that. Good movie. Dude. That's a good movie. That. No, but uh, uh, Elysium is not good. It's very bad. And the, the, you know, and the reason that that is the case is because it just is so fucking on the nose, man. Like it's just like, oh, we're talking oh. about immigration. Here's how we talk about immigration. Here's a bunch of immigrants and the immigration. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> you didn't look. <laughs> Didn't look. Yeah, I didn't see that either. I don't know what to do about that situation. You guys gonna see Star Wars tomorrow? It no. came out yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Why? Why, you, why is it suddenly tomorrow that you want to see? Sorry, old news, man. Yeah, it already came. It already came. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, why, why, why are you going for tomorrow instead <laughs> of like? I wait, guess we can't about see it now because it's ten o'clock. Yeah. Wait, are you talking about this video's tomorrow? No, I'm talking about Rogue One came out yesterday. 
No, it comes no. out on the 16th, you yeah. weird man. Well, Ruby's always come out on a million Friday. people hold on Twitter on. showing their tickets. Yeah, hold on. Rogue One. I could have sworn it came out yesterday. Day. I could have sworn it did too. If it didn't, yeah, it came out the 16th. It's December 16th. What were these people doing with these tickets? That's probably true. I, that, I saw non-stop tweets about it's people. It's probably like, early screenings. Yeah, yeah early, early movies. Screenings. All right. Well, to answer your question, no. <laughs> but you love Star Wars, though. No, no, I, I want to see it. I'm, but the answer to your question is I'm not watching it tomorrow. Oh, there's a there's a gettable coin back here, boys. Fuck. <laughs> oh, got him. I, I, I might see it in theaters, or I might just wait till I take an airplane. <laughs> and then watch it on that. <laughs> Airplane movies come out before DVD movies, right? Like, yeah. It's yeah. usually like it's just... Exclusive rights. Just before DVD. It's bullshit, dude. It's not really bullshit, though. It's nice. bullshit. <laughs> I was as lucky as American Airlines. I don't think I've ever watched a movie on an airplane before. What? Really? I always fly Southwest, so... Oh. Yo, what's Southwest like? Is it actually like a zombie apocalypse when they no. open the doors? Because like, no, I'm not totally saying it's a fine. bad airline. I'm just saying like, it's first come first serve for seats, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, but you get tiered seats. Like you, you get either depending on when you check in, you get like A, B, or C, um, and that's the order at which you board the plane. So A's and B's and C's. So it encourages you to check in earlier. Okay. Um, and there's like you can pay a lot to get like before everybody, but nobody does that. I'm just gonna tell but you guys the just... damn truth. What? JetBlue is the only way to fly. I was really excited to fly JetBlue and I had to cancel my flight and it was a bummer. Yeah, JetBlue's great. <laughs> oh! I like exclusively ah. fly JetBlue if I have the opportunity to. Uh, yeah, well, have you guys used one of Canada's two airlines? Air Canada? Air Canada and WestJet. <laughs> Does it fly to the east? I mean, half of the time. <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> but probably, probably like a quarter of the time, actually. But, I mean, uh, really, when you think about it. Okay. The east is just the west from the east's perspective. I had that problem in, in elementary school. But it, I always would say, wait, is this the east or the west? Whose perspective are we looking from? What and the teacher would get mad and be like, it's just the east. <laughs> That's like the whole point of east and west is that they're non-relative. <laughs> What? I what? apparently found a way to not understand that. Well, no, this they, they we live on an oblate spheroid. <laughs> okay. If oh, you man. are in China, New York is both <laughs> right. west and east of China. At it's the time farther. We were learning it's it, it was an immutable west. fact that we were talking about east. We weren't meant to think about the reasons we were doing things. We were just meant to unquestioningly repeat them. You know. It's not about like conformity. It's about like, hey, where are you? Let's meet up for lunch. You say, I'm to the east of you. And then <laughs> this provides a framework for us to meet at the Shaken's Shake. Shaken's Shake. Shaken and shake. out of stakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were always talking about maps when this came up. And when we were talking about the east coast, I'd be like, so from whose perspective is the east coast? And <laughs> the that, east coast that's when they would get mad at me. The Atlantic Ocean. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm with you for the most part, but however, I will say the East Coast is the coast that is on the East, though. I know. <laughs> um, and From that, whose I'm not saying yeah. I was right, I'm just <laughs> saying I had trouble with it. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is way too long. I actually rough. don't understand the from whose perspective. Well, like, like the, the east side of the country could be the west if you're looking at it from a different perspective. How it so? Be, it could no, be it the can't. South if you're well, that, around that it's like, is not true. So if I told you, like, I'm going to the North Pole, you would be like, which way are you facing? If you're on the South Pole, it would be north. Oh, still the North Pole. <laughs> it's everywhere. North is every direction. North is always north, north, yes. But, you know. Like, if you were in the, lost in the forest and one person had a compass and he said, follow my north, you would be like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, actually, it would. That's like when we spawned the I got a... one. How is the East Coast ever the West Coast? <laughs> <laughs> that I can't follow. If you're upside down. It can be, the East Coast can be to your West. Right, There's if you're in the water. Like Wait, my brain. oh yes, you're in the water. <laughs> is yeah. the answer to that okay. question. Yeah. Somebody on Reddit said I'm an idiot, and I was like, you know what, you're right, because of reasons <laughs> like this. 
<laughs> Actually, when I was a kid, I had to do the, uh, you know, you know the left-right thing? Because I would yeah, always forget left and right. Yeah, where you hold your, your, your left hand up and it makes an L. Yeah. In the shape of an, on your forehead. You put it on <laughs> yeah, your forehead. Exactly. In the shape of an... Yeah. The shape yeah. of on your forehead. I mean, we all did dumb stuff. I, I asked my fair square. My fair square. <laughs> my fair square and, it, and 40 and years ago. All right, well, thanks for watching Ultimate Chicken Horse. Uh, you can click the like button if you enjoyed it. That'll be on the uh, southeast portion of the video player, depending on what you're facing. And, uh, I grew we'll up. <laughs> I know which side is which now. You could go uh, check out multiple perspectives. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye! Goodbye. Bye. Apologies to people watching from my perspective on the last video, but this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools. I like that. Thanks, man. Oh. Dan posted his Star Wars Rogue One review. <laughs> what? They probably Star flew him out to Hollywood. As a Star Wars fan, hashtag Rogue One is worth seeing once. 7 out of 10, and a lot of the 7 is nostalgia. Still recommend it, though, oh. at .com slash movies. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read the last part. That's really good. I got. I'm going to his website. I right have now. to go to Danielson.com. It's just an IMDb page. Is uh, it really? It's his. Oh wait, he's an IMDb. B B what? Yes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Oh, he's got IMDb. an IMDb account. IMDb. All right. I think I'm on. He gave IMDb, a. He gave an eight to Surviving Christmas. He's been doing a lot of Christmas movies in here. He watched uh, Wing Commander. Gave it a four. <laughs> you know, you. I love that movie. Well, I'm ready to go. Wilder. Wait. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He gave it a two out of ten. <laughs> wow. Wait, TMNT or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That's not the new. The the second newest one. Oh, okay, so that's like TMNT. Remix. Guess what? He yes. gave uh, Alyssum. A two out of ten as well. Well, he has a good taste in films. So <laughs> Alyssum McCarthy. I might get roasted in the comments for saying Elysium is really bad. I'm gonna. Yeah. I said a lot of shit that I didn't need to say. At <laughs> least he didn't call Eddie Murphy dark matter again. <laughs> Just saw an elderly couple holding hands walking in the snow. I yelled to them, squad goals, and they looked confused. <laughs> Were you reading that off of Dan Giesling's website? How could you tell? <laughs> you see the one where he wouldn't let that service person go in the tech support chat until she said a meme to him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so Dan. Ooh. This is a this is on the front page of Reddit. I don't know if it's true or not, but President Obama signs the BOTS Act of 2016. Bots? Yeah, which makes it illegal for bots to buy and resell tickets. Oh yeah. Oh, they were talking about that, yeah. That's pretty good that's, that's badass great. yeah goodbye ticket master eat a dick yeah <clears throat> i mean they're just gonna run the bots outside of the country but yeah i mean it's great yeah there's gonna be chinese bots now yay well you know american jobs and all that that's right yeah well actually <laughs> that's gonna steal american jobs from the right, bot that's creators. what i meant yeah, yeah. I <laughs> saying the opposite yeah let's go boys i'm ready <clears throat> three two one go